I played a lot of video games when I was younger, but a game that I spent thousands of hours playing was Minecraft. And when I first started playing, it was really fun. I played on a variety of online servers and met a lot of cool people and became friends with quite a few of them. But the game got old after a while, so they left, leaving me with the toxic players. Now, I know that many of you faithful Minecrafters still playing aren't toxic, but a lot of you guys are. I stopped playing Minecraft regularly only a few months ago, not because I wasn't good at the game. I mean, I like to think I was good at the game. I was pretty good with a bow. Boo! Bow spammer! Boo! Yeah, boo! Use a sword! Learn to PvP! Fight me IRL! Anyways, the real reason I stopped playing was because there were so many toxic players insulting me basically just because I was playing the game. And it wasn't like I was provoking them. The majority of these exchanges were started by the toxic player. Anderson Mations, what a loser. <sighs> Anderson Mations, get a life. Psh, great, another one of these guys. Ha 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 Get wrecked, Anderson Mations. Worst player in the history of Minecraft. Get good. LOLOL. ROTF IRL XDDD. And basically, other than that exaggerated ending, that's how most of these encounters went. I meet Mr. Toxic, who then insults me while I stay quiet. Anderson, why didn't you stand up for yourself? Because if I did, the aggressor would lose their mind and cause even more of a ruckus in the chat and start targeting me even more than before. Believe me, I've tried that. I just prefer to let my actions do the talking. Like this one time, actually not too long ago, I was playing capture the flag and this one guy on the opposite team felt like talking. So when we fought for the first time and I killed him, he had something to say about it. What the heck, Anderson? I said nothing. About two minutes later, we fought again and I killed him again. At this point, he's starting to get angry. Anderson, no one likes you. Oh, so that's how it's gonna be. You're gonna get personal? Alright, buddy, you'd better have your big boy pants on for this one, because I'm not messing around anymore. The next time we fought, he was bow spamming, so I countered with the same tactic. And although he was a good sniper, he wasn't really trying to dodge my arrows, while I was dodging his arrows left and right, and that turned out to be the deciding factor. After I killed him, he, of course, had something to say. And to my surprise, he apologized for insulting me and said that I was a very skilled player. Just kidding, he insulted me again. He called me something in Spanish, so I don't know exactly what it was. Another game I spent a lot of time playing was Rocket League. Now, if you haven't played Rocket League, it's basically car soccer, which they call soccer. <laughs> <laughs> I played Rocket League for a couple months in 2018 before I came full on addicted for six months last year. Rocket League is one of those games that once you start playing, you can't stop. During the time that I played Rocket League, I was also trying to learn how to animate, but I was only able to stay focused on animating for like two hours in the morning before I gave in to the Rocket League craving. And I felt really bad about it, but the game was so much fun, and all I wanted to do was play it. But later on, I finally stopped playing, because I wasn't getting much better, and it wasn't really fun anymore, mostly because of toxic players. Now if you play Rocket League, then you know this as well. There are a lot of mean and toxic people playing the game. I think Rocket League's ratio of toxic players to non-toxic players is worse than Minecraft's. It's that bad. And I've played with and against many of these players. Like this one time I was playing doubles, and whenever I made a mistake, my teammate would say something about it. So if I missed a shot, he would say, Wow. Or if I didn't pass it to him when he was ready, he would say, Okay. Oh, and when I didn't get a save, he'd say, what a save. And if you're using the what a save quick chat to shame someone after they missed a save, how do you think that's going to help? What is the logic there? If your teammate makes a mistake, either say something like, it's fine, no problem, or just move on. But don't get unnecessarily confrontational. That will only lead to both of you getting upset and most likely ruining your chemistry for the rest of the game. Another thing that annoyed me in Minecraft was when a bunch of players joined a mini game like Skywars to capture the flag and just started chatting nonstop about something totally irrelevant to what was going on in the game. It's okay to chat, but do it somewhere else, not in a mini game. Like seriously, if you're not going to play, then what are you doing here? Anderson, I think you're just salty. Maybe a little bit. This video is basically me venting with little stories here and there. I'm most likely going to make less negative animations in the future. As bad as I made these games sound, I actually really enjoyed them. Minecraft for the most part was fun, and when I was good at Rocket League, that was pretty fun too. But I wouldn't recommend it, it's addictive.